Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Shanice here and today we are going to be filming Ooh, child. Y'all have been cussing me out for this video and I have a really good explanation as to why it's taken me like 17 times to try and film this video. But this is going to be my weight loss journey video. What I've done, how I've gotten here, how I've lost 60 pounds. So y'all been cussing me out for this video and I'm so sorry. I really am. I've had multiple technical difficulties. I felt like the timing just was not right. I'm sorry, I hate to have kept y'all waiting, but all good things, you know, come in time, you know. So, I'm here, we're here, we're gonna film this video. I'm gonna tell y'all how I lost 60 pounds. So, let's just get right into the video. Go ahead and grab some popcorn, maybe not popcorn. Go ahead and grab a snack, something, a drink, whatever. This is a long story. <laughs> it's not long. Well, it's kind of long, but I just want to make sure I can let y'all know everything I did, how I got here. So, yes, it might be a little bit long, but that's okay. Go ahead and get yourself prepared and together, and we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. I have my notes here. It is a long story, like I said. So, we're going to try to hit all the details, all the important things. Yes. So... <laughs> I first want to start off this video by saying that this is my journey. This is what I did. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a uh, trainer. I'm none of those things. But I'm just going to tell y'all what I did. So this is just my journey. This is what worked for me. It may work for you. It may not work for you. Don't kill me though. <laughs> Don't kill me. But yes, yeah, so what worked for me might not work for you. I hope it works for you because it's really not that hard. So I hope whatever I did works for you. And we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the story. All right, so my journey started in 2016. I was at the doctor's and I was getting a physical done, you know, the yearly physical. And so yes, the nurse took my vitals and everything like that. She's like, okay, we're gonna take your weight. So I'm like, all right, we get on the scale. Like, all right, so your weight, it, you know, the numbers is. It's, fly. it's one of the digital scales, so the numbers is flopping all over the place. So I'm like, oh God, I don't know what it's going to be. I haven't been on a scale in forever, so I really don't know how much I weigh. So she's like, all right, your weight is 235 pounds. I said, what? <laughs> wow. When I heard that number, I don't know. I it hurt a little bit i was like wow i've never been this heavy i have never gotten this big and so just the fact that i had reached 235 pounds was not okay it was not okay i am five seven so i don't know what what how you want to see that but the way it was i didn't look like i was 235 pounds i was the way my body set up <laughs> the way my body is set up I'm really good at hiding my weight, so I can look a lot thinner than I really am, is what I'm basically saying. So that's what happened with that, and I couldn't believe that I was 235 pounds. So yeah, so I had lost some weight unconsciously, a little bit, a couple pounds here and there, just because I was just frustrated, and I was like, ugh, I'm about to do some crazy stuff just to lose a couple pounds, but I was just frustrated with myself, so I lost a little bit of weight, nothing major. I was still kind of, you know, around the same weight. Um, 2017 rolls around and I get a new job and everything's going great. <laughs> everything's going great. I'm still heavy at this point. I think I'm around 230 at this point. So I'm around 230 and I'm still kind of heavy. But yes, yeah, so I had the job. A lot of things were going on with the job and it stressed me out. <laughs> stressed me out. And I begin to eat. I'm the type of person that I'm a stress eater. Unfortunately, when I'm stressed, food is my only answer. Because <laughs> I mean, whose answer is it not? You know what I'm saying? So food was my answer. And I ate and I would, you know, make money and I would eat and make money and I spend it on food. And it was just a really, really bad cycle. So for a really long time, I plateaued because I was just, I was going through it. Okay, 2017 was a year. You hear me? A year. So I plateaued 
and wasn't really losing any weight I wasn't really gaining probably gained a couple pounds but I wasn't really losing any weight so like I said I was around 230 um, between 230 and 220 I was floating there for like I kid you not for like a good two years I could not lose the weight for anything I tried everything but my body was just like girl no <laughs> no so I was like all right let me do things the right way I decided to put some effort into you know really getting my life together finding out who I was again getting my groove back you know just picking myself back up because 20 said like i said 2017 was a really really hard year 2018 came around and i was like you know what it's time to make a change it's gonna be a new year so i made a resolution like everybody does everybody has their new year's resolution i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that so i really made it a point to say that i'm going to change my life and i'm going to start being intentional about working out eating right doing all those things so I started to meal prep so I started to do things the right way because I say you know losing weight is 90% in the kitchen 10% in the gym so like you know what let me just start eating right I may not be able to make it to the gym but I'm gonna start eating right so 2018 came around and I started to change the way I ate so I was meal prepping and all that I was cooking on Sundays I will insert some of my meals if I find the pictures of them I'll insert them but I was making my meals and I was eating I started eating um, chicken with vegetables, like chicken breast with vegetables and like a sweet potato. And then I would make like five plates of those just to have for dinner. And then for lunch, I would have um, just a salad that I found on Pinterest. <laughs> it was like a salad that had like raspberries in there. Um, it was really good. I, I gotta find the salad. But I was just eating salads for lunch, um, trying to keep it light. Um, and then I you know, I prep that salad and I prep my dinner and then for breakfast I have just like some eggs. So that was what I was doing for a few weeks and I kid you not, the weight just started to fall off. And I was like, oh, this is all I had to do? This is all so, I had to do? Yeah, the weight just fell off and that was probably one of the best feelings. I was starting to see changes. All right, so like we're mid-2018 by now. I'm starting to see major changes in my body and so I reached 203 pounds by the end of 2018 and I was like oh my god I can really reach my goal and my goal in the beginning was 200 pounds like let me just lose let me just get to 200 pounds and I'm good you know what I'm saying like getting under getting to 200 or under it I would be a happy person but I I was like you know what I can do better than that I can do better than that I got to 203 and I was like, I still see my body can go different places. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a new goal. My new goal was 180 pounds. So where are we at? We at 2018. Um, like I said, I started meal prepping, eating right, and the weight started to fall off. I wasn't really working out as much. I was getting in the gym maybe once, twice a week. But eating right definitely, definitely, definitely worked and definitely helped kickstart the weight falling off of me. So. so 2019 rolls around and I actually started a new job. <laughs> I'm meal prepping. I had I kind of stopped meal prepping. Me okay. <laughs> so 2019 rolls around and I kind of stopped meal prepping at this point. I'm kind of just going off of portion controlling which is another topic that I will get into but yeah so portion controlling really helped me to kind of be consistent with not gaining the weight back so yes I portion controlled and that really helped me to keep the weight off and this job I'm just moving all over the place I'm just moving all over the place so that became like cardio like I was burning a lot of calories at my job I don't know. I was just always moving, constantly moving. So I was burning a lot of calories at my job and with just continuing to portion control, the weight just continued to fall off of me. So I ended up getting it down to 184 pounds and I couldn't believe it. I uh, actually cried <laughs> when I saw that number because I had set a new goal of 180 pounds. Since I passed 200 pounds, I was like, you know what? 
we're gonna go big. We're gonna go big. So 2019, I got down to 184 pounds, and that was the lowest I'd ever been. I ain't seen that number since. I don't even know. I don't even know. But it's been a very long time since I've seen that number. It. It changed my life. It changed my life. Yeah. So when I saw that number on the scale, oh, like I said, I cried. <laughs> I cried because I didn't. Ooh, I'm getting emotional right now. Um, I didn't think that I would ever get to that number because it, it's just been such a long, hard journey. And that's why I want to tell people, like, don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up because you'll never know how far you can get if you don't if you just keep going like you can't stop you can't stop and i did not stop and i hit my goal and i surpassed my goal close to the end of 2019 i actually got really really sick and i couldn't eat i couldn't keep anything down um it was i was sick for like a good week like i was in the doctor's office um, multiple times like I was so sick and I couldn't eat I couldn't keep anything down so with being sick I ended up losing I think almost like 10 pounds yeah and then I got down to 176 pounds after I got better <laughs> um, and that was just because I wasn't eating and so obviously I started eating again cuz why not <laughs> and I got up to 180 pounds At the end of 2019 I was like 185 pounds. So I got up to 185 pounds and I wasn't mad at that. Honestly, my body looked great still. Um, I started lifting. Um, I started going to the gym a little bit more. And then the beginning of 2020 rolls around and I decide that I'm going to try keto. <laughs> um, I was like, you know what, I did it all. I didn't try it all. So let me go ahead and try this keto thing out and see what it's talking about. So parents talked me into trying keto with them and we all kind of went on the journey together we ate the meals together all those kind of things so I did keto and the keto is the truth keto is the truth y'all I ain't even gonna lie that really took that last little edge off of my weight and I was like wow I made it I did it and um being on keto with not even because I was going to the gym I really wasn't going to the gym for real for real by this time, so we're 2020 now, and I haven't really been to the gym like that. And keto still had that weight falling off, y'all, falling off. So I was just grateful for that. Um, keto's not easy. It's not easy giving up things that I love, like carbs and fries and macaroni and cheese and, ooh, y'all. Yeah, keto is not easy, but keto works. It really does work. It's the truth. I'm not even gonna lie. Keto is the truth. So that has what brought me to current day, present day. I was doing keto for what are we in? April. So yeah, I've done was doing keto March, January, February, March, and now I've gone to kind of like low carb. So I eat a little bit of carbs here and there. I had fries for the first time in like months a few days ago, and it was heaven on earth. <laughs> We're here today. We have made it today. I weigh 178 pounds. So, yeah, I it took me three years, but I did it. I did it, y'all. And if I could do it, you could do it. There's certain parts in my journey where you know it was hard. It was really, really hard. I had to find it within myself just to push myself and get it done because I wanted better for myself. I wanted better for myself. I wanted to look better. You know, I was looking at pictures. And I'm like, I don't know who this girl is. <laughs> My face was so round. Like, I will insert pictures here and there if I could find. Well, I have plenty of pictures, but I'll insert some just so you know. My face was so round. I mean, you can even see in my older videos how round my face was, and I was like, I can't be out here like this. So I had to change my life. There were days where I did not want to do a thing with anything but eat. I just wanted to eat. When I was going to the gym in the morning, it was so hard to get up, but you have to push yourself. You have to push yourself because if you don't, you never know how far you're gonna go. You never know how far you can make it. And you just have to find it within yourself. Find out what is your why. Why do you wanna do this? Why do you wanna change your life? Why do you wanna make these changes? Because that's honestly what it comes down to. And 
that's all I have. I mean, I, I can encourage y'all all day. I am here for y'all. I'm here to help anybody who needs that encouragement because I've been there. I have cried some days because I was just so unhappy with how I looked and I'm here today. And there's things that I'm still working on. Don't get me wrong. I feel like I've reached the goal, like the weight that I want to be at. I don't think I want to get any smaller right now. I'm just working on lifting heavy because I just want to be super toned, super like, you know, yeah, real toned. There's pros and cons to all of this. There's pros and cons. You know, I actually thought I was going to, I thought I was going to be one of those people that wasn't going to have, you know, loose skin. But unfortunately, your girl got some loose skin. And so right now I'm just working on tightening everything, tightening it all up, tightening it up and yeah, we just wanna be so trying to find. That's all, all the time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any further questions, I will do maybe a like, Q&A at another time. Yeah, so that's all that I have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss the next upload from your girl. And I will see y'all in the next video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed my journey. And I hope that I encourage y'all just to get started. Do not give up. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Do it for me. Do it for you. Do it for you. Do it for you. Don't give up for yourself. And um, show it for yourself. Be there for yourself and you will make it so far. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.